Hello, I'm Brian Farrell and welcome to Pace IT session on peripheral devices. Today we're going to talk about what are peripheral devices, how peripheral devices connect to a PC, and then we will briefly touch on some examples of peripheral devices. With that, let's go ahead and begin this session. So what are peripheral devices? Well, peripheral devices are not built into the computer. They are external to the system. They have a connection to the PC, either via a wired connection or via a wireless connection. They have a main purpose uh, to improve output, to improve input, to extend functionality, to increase productivity, or to expand the enjoyment of the system. Now, peripheral devices use device drivers. Device drivers tell the host operating system how the peripheral device is supposed to interact with the system. The device drivers will also tell the operating system how peripheral devices will interact with each other. The manufacturer of the peripheral device is the one who provides the driver to the operating system or to the user. Now let's move on to how peripheral devices connect to the PC. And we'll start with legacy connections. They can connect through a serial port, the DB9. That is a D-shell 9-pin connection. Or they can connect through a parallel port, the DB25, a D-sub miniature 25-pin connection. Most modern systems do not come with a serial port or a parallel port anymore. You need to be aware of that just in case you buy a peripheral that requires that type of connection. So let's move on to a semi-legacy type connection, and that would be the PS2 connection, the Personal System 2 connection. These are a keyed 6-pin connector, commonly used for keyboards and mice. Again, these are a little bit harder to come by on modern PCs. So what are more current standards? Well, there's the small computer system interface, SCSI. You can still find those. There's USB. There's IEEE 1394, commonly known as FireWire. There's wireless connections, Bluetooth. There's network connections, Ethernet. There's tip ring sleeve, TRS connectors. Those are analog sound connectors, by the way. There are a whole bunch of ways that peripherals can connect to the PC. Now, the manufacturer of a peripheral device may require a proprietary connection type. When they do, they will also provide the means of accomplishing that connection to the PC. So when you're connecting a peripheral device to a computer, always read the manufacturer's installation instructions first. The major reason for that is to determine when the device driver gets installed on the PC. Some operating systems and peripheral devices are very peculiar about some driver installations. Installing the driver in the incorrect order can result in frustration due to loss of functionality. Now let's move on to some examples of peripheral devices. There are input devices, keyboards and mice, the KVM, which is a keyboard video and monitor switch. There are scanners and barcode readers, biometric devices, game pads and joysticks, microphones, digitizers. Those are used for capturing an analog signal in a digital format. Then there are output devices like speakers, printers, and display devices. And finally, there are multimedia devices, digital cameras, camcorders, and webcams. There's also MIDI, the Musical Instrument Digital Interface, which has a whole bunch of different multimedia devices that can connect to it. Now that concludes this session on peripheral devices. We talked about what peripheral devices are. We talked about how peripheral devices can connect to a PC. And then we ran through some examples of peripheral devices. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm looking forward to doing another one.